Hello amigos, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am bringing you six books that have changed my life. Like, they changed my life to the good, like I've become the person I am today. And I just hope by making this video, I can help somebody else out there who needs a little bit of motivation, want to achieve, achieve the goals they want, but they don't know how to. And they need just that little bit of inspiration. And I do believe books are very, very powerful. I think these six books may help you. It helped for me, so I hope it can help for you. And I just wanted to quickly show you them and explain a little bit about them. Take a notebook, take a pen, get ready, because you will need to write the titles. I also will leave the titles link below, so you can just, yeah, go go look at another in a box and just get the books and read. So let's get started. But first, for anybody who's new here, I am Melissa and I film content about my life in Spain and just about anything I love. Welcome. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe because it would mean the world to me. And if you're already subscribed, thank you so much. Thank you for the support. Our little family here on YouTube is growing, so I'm quite happy about that. Thank you so much. Let's get started the video. So here are the six books. So I have read these over the years, not all like consecutively. One of these I've read like four years ago, maybe another one two, three years ago. So yeah, it's been over the years I've read these. And to me, when I was looking at my bookshelf, I was like, which are the books that really caught my attention? I came and I came up with these six. First book I'm going to talk about is Everything is Figure Outable by Mary Forlow. This book really opened my eyes because I'm a person who's always trying to achieve a goal or wants to solve a problem. And I just find myself in a situation that I don't know how. And I have learned out of this book that having the right mindset means that you already have solved like half the problem or you like it's easier to deal with. So instead of going into, say you have a problem, say, oh no, this is so bad, oh no this, oh no that. Go into the problem saying, okay, so what is it trying to teach me? Okay, how can I do this? What is the positive like things I can look at that? Um, yeah, just how to, that, but no, not how to, but basically everything is figure outable. That you can figure anything out that you want. And she gives like all these tips. She also talks about her own experience, what she's gone through. And it's just a fun book to read. Like her energy is really catchy. And I just learned so much of it. For example, here this little bit, I will read it to you. What you will learn in this book is how to deal with criticism and imposter syndrome. Why is it crucial that you strive for progress and not perfection? How to bounce back from failure? How to overcome a lack of time and money? So these are things that you will learn. And I did learn like so much. Like especially with imposter syndrome, um, trying not like to, to strive for, like try to strive for progress, not perfection, all them things. There's this little phrase in here. Don't know if I'm gonna find it now. Let me just have a look. So the phrase goes, fear is not the enemy, waiting to stop feeling afraid is. Now you, then we don't just all do that, that we just stop waiting like to feel afraid, but that will, that we will always keep on waiting because we'll never go away. Sometimes we have to do things, even though we're scared to do them, because going out of your comfort zone can be scary. And sometimes it's the best thing you can do. It's a good book. I really, really recommend reading this. Second book we have here is Girl Code by Cara Orwell Labour. This book is mainly focused like of stories and about her success and everything, giving tips and just, I could say it's even like a letter from her to other women. It was really inspiring, like so nice. Also like how having a community of women who you support and they support you can like really be beneficial for you. That was really nice to read. Also gives you tips like how to elevate your thinking, how to elevate yourself to become the person that you want to become, like the successful woman you can be. It was really nice. It was, yeah, it's a small book, but it was just inspirational. So yeah, I really recommend reading this one as well. Third book we have here is The Mountain Is You by Brianna West. This book 
also was an eye opener for me because I kept myself sometimes in situations where I am working for my goal or working like towards something that I really want, a dream, a passion, some anything, anything. And I start doing it and then I stop because I get these thoughts of like, I'm not good enough, I can do better, I can do this, I can do that. And then hence the title, The Mountain Is You. You are self-sabotaging yourself. So this book is mainly about self-sabotaging. So how you can improve that and like get like get away that fear that you have in your head of succeeding basically. Because it's like you think, oh well if I don't succeed or if I don't achieve it or if I don't this and then you stop. You just stop. But it's quite normal for a person to have that because it's our own mind trying to protect us in case it can go wrong. But we just sometimes need that little push to go through it and believe in ourselves and we will achieve it. But again, mindset is everything. This book, absolutely eye opener and it really helped me. Like it was so good. Like it also teaches you how to make habits that you will like succeed, not succeed, but not have that self-sabotaging voice in your head. I don't know, it, you've got to read it to understand. I don't know if I'm rambling or like if you're understanding me. It, it was just a good book, like an eye opener for anybody who suffers with self-sabotaging. Anybody who has a little voice, like you want to do something and start, yes, I want, I want, I want to do this. I'm going to do this. You start to do it and then you just stop. So if you want to not have that feeling anymore, I just suggest you reading this book. It's, it helped me so much. I'm still suffering it with it sometimes. And then I go back to this book and I read a chapter or two and then remind myself of that the mountain is me. And if I just put the right thoughts into my head, I can achieve anything. For example, a little thing here, like a little, little paragraph. Maybe I can read this for you. It says, when you get to the end of your life, you will begin to see your mountains for what they really were gifts. When you look back on your life, you won't remember the hardships. You will see them as pivot points, growth opportunities, the days of awakening right before everything changed. To become a master of oneself it fir is first to take radical and complete responsibility for your life. This includes even that which is beyond your control. A true master knows that it's not what happens, but the way one responds that determin determines the outcome. That was one of the little phrases that really got me. I remember like going, like reading this book and I was like, oh wow, like why, like I do that. Why, why do I do that? And it also has little chapters saying, for example, your issue, like your self-sabotage and what you're doing and how it like happens. And then it's, it's like, so like how it, you can solve it. So it, it's quite a good, no, it's definitely 100% recommend this book. Fourth book we have here is You Are a Badass by Jen Sincero. This book, it, it just talks, it just touches different topics, basically about manifestation, how to believe in yourself, how to visualize your higher self, how like stop self-doubting. Basically, it's a book like about how, how you become a badass. Like the title it says, You Are a Badass. So she teaches you everything to become a badass. The author is funny, like so funny. The example she puts, the way she writes, it was it was really good. I've recently read this book. I even gave it to my boyfriend. And he's like a few pages away to finish it. I really recommend it if you're looking just for that little kick up your ass, I would say, <laughs> because you just literally like kick your buttocks. Like with the things she says, how she try, like tries to say them, it, it's so good. So it touches like about law of attraction, it's about self-doubt, just everything you need to know to become, well, to have your great, the great life you want, basically. Yeah, very funny, very good. Definitely recommend this book. One of the phrases that got me this book, like got me really into it, like it's one of the, one of the first ones, says, if you want to live a life you never lived, you have to do things that you've never done. How true is that? Like we got to just put ourselves out of our comfort zone and do things that we've never done to achieve the life that we really want. That's so true. <laughs> it was like one little phrase, but there's so many others 
like little ones that got me. Um, again, I don't like like put them down. Maybe I need to put like little post its because I never find them back. I said, like, oh, I really need to write that down, but I never do. For example, here is another one. When taking great leaps forward, life often turns to shit before it turns to Shinola. <laughs> it's just like the humour that she has in this book. Very good. Really recommend this one. Next two books, I can actually say those are the, the main books. Absolutely fantastic books that really changed me. Fifth book we have over here is Good Vibes, Good Life by Vex King. This book I absolutely adored. I, I even read this, I think, twice. It's so good, that's why even the writing has gone off. This book is again about law of attraction, but it also teaches you how to love yourself, how to prioritise yourself, because sometimes we forget, well, we think maybe too much of other people and we don't think about ourselves, and how to make time to do a little bit of self-care, um, which can be in different ways, doing things that you like, or meditating, also teaches you like an introduction about meditation and how this can help you like to change your beliefs, do you like achieve anything that you want, like it's how good it is for you basically as well. It's really life changing this book, I can say it like that. I've also got a second book which is Healing is a New High. These two books together are the best. Like, for me, it's not just one book. Actually, they go just together. That's it. You, if you buy them, buy first and second. You've got to read both. This one, I've cried a lot, same as, the, as this one. Especially when you do, like, the little exercise he does about, like, meditation and everything. This one was, like, a slight introduction, as I said. But this one goes in depth. How to heal yourself, how to heal your traumas. And just by going into your thoughts, going into your past... By meditation it really puts you in a spot where you need to f like face all them things all them traumas all them fears or everything and I cried quite a lot but I can say I can well I can I have healed from a lot from my past lot like past things ever happened to me this these two books they the best I can't recommend them enough every person like two of my friends have a, not even my mom has it Murphy is my boyfriend, he's going to read it next after he's finished that one. It's so good, like, absolutely good. And again, it talks about self, like self love, like manifestation, love, and just how to find your higher purpose. Like, what are you here for? What you like, what you put here from the earth for? What is your thing you want to achieve? What is your goal? You find your, your little, yeah, like your, your little. Why, shall I say? And one of the things I found, oh, again, so difficult to find, um, it's like how many more of your, something like how many more of your blessings you count, the more blessed you are, because you actually, like, if you start thinking of all the things you're grateful for, you become automatically happier, because you have so many things to be grateful for. It was one of the quotes that really got me from this one. And so many others. Um, but again, I never write anything down because I don't like damaging books. But this one is just a... It's on my top, for like, three books. Basically, this one, the next one I'm going to show you, and you were a badass, that's my top three. That Those three books is really inspiring. I will give you the proper kick up your head. The other ones are eye-opening, and the other one's inspirational. But I really 100% recommend you reading The Good Vibes, Good Life, and then this like, sequel of it as well. I just, I get happy when I read about this because of how much good it's brought me and how much it's taught me and, and helped me and and everything. I definitely will read it again. It's like, will be a third or fourth time I'll be reading it. Just go get it. <laughs> Last book I have, but not least, is one of my classics. It's one of the first books I've read about Law of Attraction. And it's a secret. Many people will know about this book. It's a secret by Rhonda Byrne. Byrne, Byrne, I think it is. Sorry if I'm saying your last name's wrong again. But this is just one of the first books that ever came out, I think, about the law of attraction, like the new recent ones. Even my mom read this in hospital. My sister gave her this book when she was going through a very bad moment. 
like she had like a bacteria in her leg, even the doctors were saying, oh my god, you will never, like, we don't know when you're going to recover, maybe it can be like three months, six months, up to a year, you will be in hospital. She was so sad. And my sister read the book, and she gave it to my mum. It's like, mum, you go read this. So, mum read it, and she was so inspired, and she started believing, like, visualising and believing in herself, that whatever she had would heal, like, very soon. And even one day when I was there at the hospital, she would turn around to me and like, Melissa, doctor's gonna come in and they're gonna say how much more, like, how much more has improved, how much better it got. I'm like, mum, like, surely not. Like, it's, you know, it's okay to believe in, in positive things. And she's like, no, 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 just believe me. Just believe me on this one. I'm like, okay. I'm like, I mean, yesterday they said no, like, they, maybe he'll be here for a year. Okay, whatever. And the doctor came in. And my mum, well, what she said it was like, the doctor's gonna come in and he's gonna say how much better it got. You will be maybe even like able to leave sooner than we expected. So he comes in, he looks at her and he goes, wow, Mike, look at him. And he goes, wow, it's so much like better. Like, I don't know how to explain this. I don't know how it's happened. And from that day, I start believing in it. That's also when I read The Secret. And I can tell you, to believe in the positive, like anything positive, no, I say if you believe in a positive energy, it can like change your life. It can absolutely change your life. You can absolutely change the person you are, the, the, the anything that you do, the, you have, the way you look at life. Yeah, positive energy is amazing. Like the law of attraction, believing in negative and positive like energies, yeah, it's life changing. From that day, I was about 10 years old, that's when I started believing in it. And I have manifested so many things. I have got notebooks, I have like scripted my life, believing into it, and things that I thought would never come, not things I've got, never gone through, but if I would tell that person or anybody of my friends, like, oh, I'm writing this, it's like, you're stupid. Like, that's never gonna be real. And it has all come true. And this is the first book that I read that um, helped me to believe and be the person I am today, I would say. This is the OG. <laughs> it's so good. Also, another thing about these books, if you're feeling like low, you need like an answer from the universe or anything, they also say just to pick it up and just to scroll any page, just to get any page out and just read it, see what the universe has to tell you. So, let me see, where am I? Here we go. Whether we realize or not, we are thinking most of the time. If you are speaking or listening to someone, you are thinking. If you are reading a newspaper, watching television, television, you're thinking. When you recall memories from your past, you're thinking. When you're considering something in, the in your future, you're thinking. Okay, you're thinking. For how many of us, the only time we are not thinking is when we are asleep. However, the forces of attraction are still operating on our last thoughts as we fall asleep. Make your last thoughts before going to sleep good thoughts. That's one tip. In little quote, creation is always happening. Every time, every time an individual has a thought or a prolonged chronic way of thinking, they're in the creation process. Something is going to manifest out of those thoughts. I can't talk much, like enough about this book. Like this book changed my life, changed my mum's life, changed a lot of people's life. It's even in like, it's like a documentary about it. Um, there are many other books. One is called The Magic. I've also got the other one. It's called The Greatest Secret. Also love that book. That's like, not released not long ago. I think this book was like 2006, maybe. Something like that. But absolutely good book. Really recommend it. This is a book I think that will absolutely change your life, the way you think. Especially if you're in a negative situation or you're quite a negative person. This would be your step into the law of attraction. Like, and it will help you to realise it and see it. So yeah, these are all the books that I've recommended you. My top three, as I said before, is A Secret, um, Good Vibes Only and You Are Badass. So the three last books. Also, like, the other one affects King. Um, healing is a new high. And then the other one of the secret, the greatest secret. I hope this helped a little bit of getting, like, 
and look into these books of my personal um, experience and personal thoughts about them. And yeah, I quite enjoyed doing this little video. Hopefully I've been able to help anybody and inspire to read these books and hopefully they help you. So thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please don't forget to subscribe as it will mean well to me. And I'll see you in the next video. Adios!